Mama Africa, Africa your children are home. Okay, so usually I don't uh, take the time to show all of the, the things that we buy, but uh, I decided to try to undo everything and show everything. Except for the G nuts, don't want to make those fall everywhere. I guess we can start here on the ground. So these are um, uh, local uh, raw G nuts, right? And so you just wash them and then boil them. Uh, or if you want to take the time and crack them open and sort them, you can. Here's some beans. Um, oh, and I guess for for those who are Americans in particular, they like knowing prices of things. So I'll give it in shillings so you can convert Ugandan shillings. But uh, so this is about four four thousand per per kilo for these, and so we got four kilos. These beans are usually about four thousand per kilo as well. They're very big, big dried beans. But um, I asked them to sort them, so they added an extra five hundred. Four five uh, per kilo. Then uh, we have gonja here. This is a um, plantain, and it's starting to get a little ripe down the bottom, which is perfect. We don't like the ones that turn black because it means they're not ripening; they're just getting hard. Eh, no son juguetes. Vais a guardar todos los berengaña, todos los berenjenas, vale? Ah, guardarlas. Guardala, guardala berenjena. No es un juguete, hijo. Ah, Rafa, no, 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 no es escalera. <laughs> it's like a play place to them. All the colors. Anyways, um, so I guess I'll start here since they... No, no, I was talking about the, the plantain. So this, I bought all of them. No, no toques, no toques um, los frijoles, eh? No piséis, no piséis, no piséis. Ah, it's like a ladder to them. So, um, let's see, all of this, they were trying to ask 30 for it. And I was like, that's crazy, 30,000 for this, that's too much. So we got it down a bit less than that, so I think it was 25 was the last price. But maybe you could have gotten it lower. Because usually people sell these uh, individually, like the like the like the roasted ones that I just showed. They usually sell them individually. Uh, which is like maybe if it's big, maybe like one thousand. Uh, if it's smaller, maybe five hundred each. Um, so they roast them and they're very tasty. Uh, we actually have them. Uh, Tulio is bringing them right now. Tulio, he always brings to Auntie to see if <laughs> see if she will say yes when we say no. So, anyways, this is the roasted version of the plantain. They do it over a charcoal fire. But uh, yeah, this is like this one. Ah, comparte con tu hermano, vale? Pátelo por la mitad. Bien. So very golden and well cooked and tasty. Mm. Anyways, let me do one. Do you like one? Okay. So, um, yeah. Then the berenjana, which is um, eggplant, right? Berenjana. <laughs> if you're a Spanish speaker or Portuguese speaker, you'll recognize uh, the Swahili pretty easily. And these were about, I usually buy like 2,000, but I bought 4,000 this time, so it's a lot. Um, <clears throat> Then for the jackfruits, I bought one that was not so ripe, and then one that was already ready, was already cut. Um, so these ones, well, this one was like, I was saying like one five, but I think they ended up asking two thousand for it. And this one about, they would, they asked for two five, but I ended up getting it for two, um, just because. And then, uh, so here I got some cassava, and here as well I just got two thousand of cassava and four thousand of. Um, a acacopa, which is like, um, what do you call that? Uh, Cocoyam. I'm not sure what they call it. It's like from elephant elephant ears, uh, the roots of elephant ears, basically, tubers. And so, yeah, acacopa and mogo, um, fresh, fresh cassava as well. And then fresh waise as well. These ones I think I got for, let's see, it was, I want to say it was like 4,000 or something. No, 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 no. No, it was probably close. I can't remember. Maybe eight or something. These are usually very expensive. So I was actually surprised at the price that I got. Whatever that was. Uh, fresh beans. So these, they, they do peas and they do beans right in front of you. And peeling them or shucking them or whatever you call it for beans. So these are fresh, green, um, easily cooked. Very easily cooked. Very good for you. Right? They haven't been dried at all. Um, eh? ¿Qué pasa? ¿Estáis jugando con los cojines? Sí. Vale. Uh -huh. So, um, 
So yeah, these I got four cups, which is like two thousand. It depends on the day. Sometimes it's one five, sometimes two thousand per cup. So I got four of those, and I got some uh, pepino, some cucumber for um, what is it? Uh, uh, for making gazpacho, like a Spanish cold soup, salsa thing that you drink. It's really good. Uh, with tomatoes. Uh, the mangoes, they're not in season, so they're very expensive. These were like 2,000 each, even though they're small like this, which is insane, but um, I thought since I saw them, I will try to get a few at least to try. Um, then we needed some extra garlic. Uh, the local garlic is a bit harder to, uh, to work with, uh, but these ones, I don't know if they're from Uganda or not. Usually, <laughs> sometimes they're even from China, which is crazy. But um, got some garlic, I think it's about 1, 5, 1,500 each, I think, uh, Ugandan shillings. Then um, some onions, I just got 500, uh, sorry, 5,000 of onions, because uh, we have some already. Some local ginger, this is 1,000 each, local organic ginger. Gonja, ya has comido gonja, no te daré más, vale? And then patatas, so the Irish potatoes. Got about 10,000, which is a lot. That's like maybe 10 pounds or more. Maybe 10, 15 pounds. Then uh, big old uh, uh, local avocados. Ovacado, no? This was 5,000 for about 11 of them. Almost a dozen uh, for 5,000 Ghanaian shillings. Um, no, ya tengo un plátano ahí que, que se había roto. So then the recognizable for most people, I think, yellow bananas. So about 6,000, so 3,3. Three, three. I think one was going to be like 3,5, but I was like, hey, I'm buying a lot of stuff. So. And then a bunch of lemons. I think they're hiding in there. A bunch of lemons, that was for 5,000, I think. And then, um, what is this? Uh, piña, so ananas. We got three of those, there's 3,000 each. They were trying to ask 3 5 for this because it's bigger, but I said no, no, no. Um, no, ya has comido gon, ya tienes que esperar, vale? Ey, 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 ey. Guárdalo en, en la encimera, vale? Porque yo también quiero. Eh, papá, so papaya. Eh, this is, let's see, I got this one for like one or two thousand. And this one was like three, no, four, because it's quite large. Eh, quite a big sucker. Um, then the watermelon. These are usually like, 6,000 I want to say, but I ended up getting it for 5, and it's quite ripe. Tomatoes, we got about 10,000 of those. By the way, for tomatoes, <laughs> Anu is all about, you know, organic tomatoes. So you want to find some that are not perfect, if you want organic, and you got to make sure that flies are actually around it. If they're not, stay away from them, because they're probably sprayed. Um, and here, like in the US, farmers tend to think that they need a lot to fight insects. So they use more than recommended, uh, just like they do in the US. Um, so yeah, stay away from them. If the flies stay away, you stay away, basically. Um, then oranges, finally got some that were actually soft. The oranges from the cellar I'd been getting were just, they picked them before they were ripe, even though they were huge and green, they were just not ripe at all. Um, so you have to cut them, you can't even feel them. Uh, so these are about 10,000 worth, so five and five, um, right there, and that's again about, I don't know, maybe 12 pounds or so, uh, weight-wise. And then, um, let's see, I think I got about two or four thousand of green peppers, you can't see them all, but they're in there. And then also um, carrots, got about four thousand of carrots, so, ah, there's like two thousand right here, another two thousand. Um, See what else? Mango? See, in un momento. Como, como poste. So that was the haul this time. You can do the math uh, yourself and in the currency that you use um, to try to see kind of what's what here as for pricing and all that. But yeah, this is like one set. Now, the crazy thing about this, uh, what I wanted to talk about is all of this, all of it, uh, except for maybe the dried beans and, and whatnot. Uh, the G nuts maybe would last longer, but pretty much all of this is not even for a week. <laughs> we eat a lot, so 
some of the tubers maybe we will have you know enough extra to, to last a whole week um, uh, the beans we could definitely eat in a whole week easily um, the fruits basically all this that you're seeing will be gone mm, maybe four or five days <laughs> so hopefully this will last at least the weekend maybe a bit longer the platanos the, the bananas will be gone in about two or three days because um, we use them in our porridge and, and for sweeteners, stuff like that. Uh, the pineapple, we eat those like crazy, even though they're a bit expensive. Um, the the berignana might last a bit. Um, the ovaquetos will last because we still have some uh, up here, as you can see. Uh, the dried beans should last a long time. These we got bulk, but um, uh, what else? But yeah, a lot of this, the fruits, the oranges, we eat about five, six a day or more. Um, sometimes, especially if we have headaches or something, we'll take some of those. Um, but yeah, the jackfruit will probably be gone in a week or less. I mean, all of this, especially the fruits, are gonna be gone pretty, pretty soon. This is a pretty large haul, it's not average. Usually we go twice a week. We're probably still gonna have to go another time this week um, just to top up on stuff. Um, so this is a bit bigger. Uh, if you're saying, where's the matoke? It is outside, <laughs> so we still have uh, about half of a bunch left of matoke there, um, so we're still good on that. And uh, cassava, we'll probably have to buy more cassava because I only got 2,000 worth and we eat a lot of cassava. But uh, yeah, that in general, that's kind of what a, a good size haul is for us, and very fresh foods, uh, very healthy, what we eat here. And uh, yeah, local food boiled or fresh um, is how we do it. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, what else I say? Oh, <laughs> people are always commenting on my on my Luganda. So so let me let me check my Luganda. Let me see how how what I know here. So we got Ebijanjalo, um, Ebijanjalo and Bisi, I believe, right? Um, Gonja, of course. Uh, oh crud, I forgot the word for G-nuts, but G-nuts. <laughs> and uh, papai. Oh, I'm a papad. Uh-uh, uh -uh, uh-uh. He's already eating it. Hey, había dicho que sí, pero tienes que esperar. So this is, uh-uh. ¿Cómo se llama esto? En Uganda. Oh, no te lo daré. <laughs> no. 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 ¿Cómo se llama? Mm -mm. I'll come back to that. Even I, it slipped my mind for the moment. I'll come back to that. Let's see, not sure. Ah, I forgot the name for onion. I forgot the name for garlic. Oh my gosh, and I, I did know the name for, for um, ginger. What is it? It's a. Uh, I can't remember. It's a pretty long word. But um, then also, kaloti. <laughs> and they just call this green pepper or whatever. Uh, then boya, these ananas, uh, lemon. Actually, I don't know. Tomato, I used to know, and I forgot it as well. And um, emutunga is uh, oranges, because I buy those a lot. Watermelon, because I don't have another word for it. Ovaquito, uh, Irish, or um, in Uganda they call it um, uh, bumond. Then we have guais. Why is it yeah? as I said, uh, 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 Berengaña, Fene, Fene, it's the Jack Bruce. And uh, I think that's it. But uh, yeah, I'll keep working, keep, keep learning, keep practicing. Uh -huh. Fene, Dagut, mm -hmm. Fene. Okay, well, anyways, that's a good size haul for us. <laughs> Got it. Uh, so, I forgot, it's just chukamba. <laughs> chukamba. Uh -huh, chukamba. Uh, uh, neem is a lemon. So, I just looked up some of these. Um, so, there's a nyanya, which is tomato. 
Uh, Ntanga Wuzi is uh, the ginger, which I forgot. Um, Akatungulu is uh, onion. And then I forgot, but Yembe, how can I forget the Yembe? We're always calling out, hey, Yembe, Yembe, we're in Kampala. So we'll bring the Yembe over and chop it up for us while we're in the car. But uh, yeah, that should cover the uh, Luganda for this. So you can compare the prices uh, with the prices in your own country. And uh, yeah, let us know kind of what things amaze you. Um, and if you're from Uganda, you can comment and, and yeah, please tell us if uh, we got good prices. Uh, I know it's better than Kampala in most cases, but um, but yeah, if, if uh, or if we got uh, if we got jet, <laughs> it was it should have been cheaper. So um, yeah, feel free to comment below and let us know. Oh, and if you're wondering where the sweet potato is, we still have a bunch in here, like the smaller ones. Oh, and we also grew some of these in the garden because they're very expensive and they're hard to find here outside of Kampala. Which I guess they would also call this a muchungwa. No, a muchungwa no. That would be orange. Uh, and suju. And suju. Yeah, so we didn't buy any of the pumpkins because we already had this one still. And we have a few more out in the garden growing. Mmm. Fruta jaka. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Ah, mm-hmm. They just woke up from a nap. Looks like a truculous seed. Yes. And como se llama la película? The Lorax, but um looks like a truculous seed. <laughs> So, Mama's back from working with baby. Yes. Please. Welcome home. <laughs> so, uh, we had some salad here that I made last night. It's got, let's see, cabbage, tomato, uh, onion, garlic, a little bit of avocado. I didn't put carrots, I forgot that. Apples, yeah, chopped up some apples. Uh, what else? Bella. Bella. Huh? She wants more. This is all that's left. We had a lot, but the kids ate, it. ate a lot. It's got uh, vinegar. Bella, no. 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 Ooh, tenemos que limpiarte la cara. She just finished eating. So, um, what is it? Vinegar, uh, apple cider vinegar, and uh, lemon juice, black pepper. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué vas a hacer ahí? And then uh, we have katogo as well with yellow peas. And so that's our lunch. The salad and katogo. All of this, oil free, um, salt free, yeah, except for some. Uh, yeah, sugar free, except for some uh, peanut butter that we put in there that had some oil in it. Yeah. But, um, it's naturally, no. yeah. but that's about it. Nothing processed. Good, tasty stuff. If you ever need the salt flavor in something, you just add something sour, so like either vinegar or lemon juice, and you're good to go. It's really good. And if you want that umami flavor, kind of meaty flavor, uh, garlic helps, avocado helps, um, things like that. Was well, it good there? Productive, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Got some videos done. Yeah. I, yes, the <laughs> I brought my. Sorry, the vinegar went through my throat the wrong way. Yeah, a... I, what, I brought my G nuts. Um, um, boiled boiled G nuts. Um, yeah. So that um, I don't have to buy salted food at the place where I was working. They were just looking at me like, what's wrong? <laughs> As you're eating like a whole kilo of peanuts. And I was waiting for you to show up, but you didn't show up. So I had to finish two big bags by myself. It's going to grow on my head. Sorry, I had to get back in time for the kids. I know. To feed the kids. Mm -hmm. Wow. I still can't believe that's plantain. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Well. That's all we have for this vlog for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, <laughs> uh. We hope we'll catch you in our next vlog. See more of our lives here in the Pearl of Africa. Live vicariously through us here. Watch our video, like, share, subscribe, and uh. press the notification button. <laughs> you know, the baby's hungry. I need to see the baby. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, until next time, we'll see you in the next vlog. Say hola, bye, adios. Ciao, thank you for watching.